If you've ever been on YouTube, you've probably watched a video by Tom Scott explaining how a video title can display the current amount of views. Notice the asterisk? That's because the view count doesn't update in real time. And that is due to the fact that millions of users all around the world use the platform simultaneously. A lot of data has to be processed, it is done, but it takes time. The way he did it is using the YouTube API. Cool, but what even is an API? You might say. The acronym stands for Application Programming Interface. Cooler, but what does that mean? In simple terms, it's a common way for web applications to communicate. It is commonly compared to a server working at a restaurant, the middleman that allows the restaurant to work smoothly. That's what an API is. Oh, and I lied. Not all APIs work that way. What I was talking about is a RESTful API that uses HTTP as the protocol. That means Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Let's get to the fun part. Coding. You can do this with almost any language, but I chose JavaScript because life is short. JavaScript is a tool that can do almost anything, but it's really good at nothing. Step 1. Get keys. No, not like car keys. API keys are a strings of characters that identify you to the API server to make sure you should be accessing the data. Some APIs don't need keys because the data is meant to be accessed publicly. The two types of authentication are keys and OAuth, where the key is a simpler but less secure one. YouTube allows you to get the views using a key for a public video, but to update the title or thumbnail, you need to authenticate using OAuth. To get either of those for the YouTube API, you need to go to Google Cloud, make a new project and enable the YouTube Data API v3. Step 2. Download Node.js JavaScript is great, but it doesn't run natively on a computer. It is using an engine called V8, designed to run on browsers. And if you don't want Chrome to eat all of your RAM, you need Node.js. That is a JavaScript runtime meant to be used so web apps can run using JavaScript. Node has its own packages. There are modules of bundled code that we don't want to write ourselves. The package we are looking for is Google APIs. If you have Node, you need to first create your own package using npm init, then spam enter because entering project details is for losers. And you also need to install Google APIs by using the command npm install Google APIs. Step 3. Write the code. You are going to need an infinite while loop that runs once every let's say 10 minutes and hope to not exceed the API call limit. The next on the list is getting the actual view count and that one is done by creating a YouTube object using the OAuth details and the version which is v3. To continue you need to get the video by using the video ID that you can find by navigating to the video you want to use and grabbing the string right after the equal sign. Note that you might have an ampersand t equals something that you don't want. That is a timestamp because you watched part of the video before. We also specify what data we want. For this one we need the statistics and snippet parts. Now that we have the video it's easy to get the view count. Construct the new title using the data and make an API request to change the details of the video, specifically the title. Use node main.js to run it in the root directory and use the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and stay safe.